Oh my god, do us on YouTube. <laughs> this is very awkward for me. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I never thought I'd say that. I'm very excited to bring you guys all on this Muay Thai journey with me. What better way to kickstart my YouTube channel than with a great post-fight review? What am I calling this? Feelings? Thoughts? We'll figure it out. So I just had my first Muay Thai fight. I'm gonna split this video up into different parts, pre-fight, weigh in, during the fight, and then post-fight thoughts, I guess. So for some context, I am a black belt in Taekwondo. I've been training and competing in Taekwondo since I was 17 years old. Then I quit after tearing both my ACL. I've had one ACL reconstruction in my right knee, and I have half an ACL in my left, holding on for dear life. I started Muay Thai when I was 25. How old am I now? Shit. I am 26 years old now. I've been training for a year and a half. Lead up to comp day. So this fight was agreed to be three rounds of a minute and a half. We were going to wear head guards. I think it was eight or 10 ounce gloves and elbow pads, but no shins, which freaked out a lot of people for some reason. <laughs> I was getting so many messages saying, no shins on your first Muay Thai fight, what? Honestly, I didn't even realize I wasn't wearing shins during the fight. It's really not as bad as people make it out to be. I was told four weeks out that I finally had a fighter. It wasn't the most ideal time because I was also randomly competing at a DJ competition, which I ended up being one of the winners for. That comp was taking place two weeks before my Muay Thai fight. So I was juggling a lot of different activities. So my nine to five job, I was DJing during my lunch breaks. I was training in the evenings and I was cutting weight. It was intense to say the least. Because it was so hard to get a amateur matchup, I wasn't gonna let this opportunity go. All right, let's talk about the weigh-in. We agreed on 48 kilograms. This was a very achievable weight for me given everything that was happening in my life at the time. But I made weight quite easily at 47.6 kilos and my opponent didn't show up to the weigh-in. <laughs> I asked the promoter and he said that my opponent was going to send video evidence of her weighing in. Let me know in the comments if this is normal because I was extremely confused. So it's fight day and I still haven't received any video evidence of my opponent weighing in. And so I approached the promoter and asked what the hell was going on. And he told me, your opponent weighed in. And I said, okay, that's great. What does she weigh in at? And he said, 49.2 which is 1.2 kilos heavier than we agreed. Long story short, I let it go, although it was a slap in the face an hour before getting into the ring. 1.2 kilos is a significant amount, especially for someone of my weight category. I was asked, do you still wanna fight? And I've been weight cutting for four weeks straight. I've been training for this moment. Of course, I'm still gonna jump in the ring, but it's not fair. I was also asked moments before my fight, what do you want your workout song to be? And I was not prepared for this at all. I said Sia Unstoppable, but in my defense, they had played it at the wrong part. They played it from the beginning and it was a very slow piano instrumental. And as I was walking out, I was trying to walk to the slow beat. <laughs> and it felt like I was walking down the aisle and not like I was about to prep for war. Definitely not a G up. Let's talk about the fight. Okay, so this first round was scrappy, but I landed a few significant kicks, like my back kick, my side kicks were scoring. Um, I landed a few hooks to the face. Every time the Taekwondo girl throws a punch, we're gonna celebrate. I managed to land two pa hooks. Pa we were told, um, they were gonna tell us the result of every round. As I sat down, we asked what was the result and they said, yep, you won the first round. So I was like, okay, cool. I got the first one in the bank, let's get the second one in. Second round was, in my opinion, and my coach's and my corner's opinion, my strongest round. But according to the judges, I had lost that round. One of the highlights of this is my takedown where I managed to scoop her leg and like walk her down. Because I stressed her out a lot with my kicks, she kept wanting to go in and do the clinch work. One thing I want to understand is the inner thigh slaps. 
aka the knees. I wanna know how many points this accounts for. In my head, I'm in this clinch and I'm getting these inner thigh slaps happening and they're not hurting me. And I've never received an inner thigh slap that's ever really hurt me. In my head, these are just safe knees that we throw during training to stimulate like the feeling of throwing a knee. I don't know it was a legitimate move. I'm thinking, is she throwing these because she can't throw a proper knee? Please explain to me in the comments because I'm still trying to figure out this Muay Thai scoring system. I thought this isn't a significant move. This isn't damaging me in any way. So surely this isn't scoring. Enter the third round. I managed to tear my hamstring in the third round. Oh, I just got a refund. As soon as I fall down, it pops. You can see it as I get up. I try and like lift it up to see if I can maneuver it. it ended up being a second grade tear. But I thought in my head, I've got the first two rounds in the bag. Just don't get knocked out in the third round and hold your ground. Holding my ground, she was throwing me the inner thigh slaps. Anyways, we went to split decision and uh, she took the win. I rewatched this fight maybe 20 times and I don't understand how I lost the second round. The first and second round, I definitely had in the bag up until the point when I tore my hamstring and I realized I'm gonna have to defend. The only thing I can think of um, as to why the decision went her way was because the judges preferred traditional Muay Thai moves. And obviously the Taekwondo girl was coming in and doing side kicks and movements that maybe they weren't impressed by. And they were looking for more, you know, um, Thai moves, which is fine because it's a, it's a Muay Thai fight at the end of the day. But I will say that I definitely landed the more significant strike. Some positive takeaways from this. I'm really happy that I threw some punches. I should have thrown more, but regardless, I landed some punches. I think for me, it's just so easy to default back to what I'm comfortable with. And it's hard to get out of that mindset. Um, and definitely now in my training, I'm being more cautious and more selective with my kicks definitely a lot less tiring to box than it is to kick so it will go on for longer if I could use both. I'm happy that I landed a clean takedown. I think that was definitely one of my biggest highlights during the fight. Through this fight I realized there's so many things that I need to work on which is great. I definitely need to strengthen my boxing. also want to really drill in some more variations of takedowns, energy management, and just trying not to get so excited from the first round. All in all, despite not having the most ideal circumstances, um, I'm so glad I got this first one out of the way and I really, really did step into the unknown. I had no idea what to expect from the way in to the walkout song to getting into the ring and, and fighting and understanding Muay Thai scoring. I'm gonna take it as a lesson learned. Most interesting was hearing the commentators talk about my fight and what impressed them. Things that they would comment on, I wouldn't have otherwise picked up. I'm like, oh, they're impressed by being able to move someone into the corner. You made it to the end of the video. I will be posting more frequently on YouTube. So comment down below, let me know what you wanna see in the future. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and like. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.